developmental programming in beef cattle is a new area of science. It's quite exciting. Uh, recently, there's been a lot of progress looking at how we feed the mother during gestation might affect the growth performance and the quality of the meat of her progeny. And, and really what it's doing is causing a little bit of a shift in the thinking about beef cattle production systems. Instead of worrying necessarily about the catch performance from when it's born until it reaches the feedlot and it is slaughtered, now we have to refocus and say, we can affect how this calf performs by feeding its mother. And we need to focus more on from conception to birth and then from birth and beyond. And shifting this focus allows us to look at, okay, do we need to supplement the cow differently, um, provide adequate protein, maybe excess protein, what feedstuffs are the best to feed this cow during pregnancy so that calf and that is in utero receives the nutrients it needs to have muscle fiber proliferation, to uh, develop adipocytes for marbling, and so that when that calf hits the ground, it has the potential to reach uh, a, a better product at, after the feedlot phase and slaughter, um, have a greater growth potential. And so it, it's a really dynamic area in beef cattle production. I think that, that it, it's very encompassing because it, it moves the focus to an entire production scheme where we have the importance of the cow-calf uh, producer and how it feeds the mother cow is directly affecting the potential profitability of the feedlot producer and, and ultimate performance of these steers in the feedlot. And we can't overlook the effects of, uh, on the female progeny as well. Um, less is known in this area, but we are seeing that how we feed the mother uh, can, be, can affect the reproductive function of the female progeny. So it's a really exciting area. There's a lot of research going on. It's uh, cutting edge research. And, and I think in the near future, you'll be seeing more and more of this developmental programming and how to use developmental programming to improve the productivity of the beef operations in the United States.